Hi, as we continue to develop and integrate our programs with AI and GPT based models, one of our key focus areas is using technology to help learners crack big interviews. That's where we have built a one of a kind GPT powered chatbot that will allow learners to conduct mock interviews anytime, anywhere. So this is what the interface looks like. This is a mock interview on statistics and machine learning for data scientist interviews. So you can see that the bot or the interview assistant asks the first question, which is, can you briefly describe the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? Now I have two options. I can either type my response here or better yet, I can record my response from the microphone and then transcribe it. Uh, and this is because I want to be able to speak out the answer as if I'm in a real interview rather than typing it out. So let me take a shot at this first question. Well, sure. Supervised learning refers to the types of models where there is input data and typically labeled output data. And the model is trying to predict output data using the input data. Whereas unsupervised learning refers to a family of techniques where there is no labeled data, uh, but the model is trying to discover patterns from uh, the input data. Now I can hit transcribe. And uh, if I'm happy with the, uh, with the transcription, if I'm satisfied with this, I can just simply press enter and submit this. So let's see the next question that it asks. So it says, great, can you give me an example of a supervised learning technique and uh, an unsupervised learning technique? Great. Well, sure, one example of a supervised learning technique is linear regression. And one example of unsupervised learning technique is k-means clustering. All right, the transcription looks fine. I can hit enter and submit. Great, so it says that I see that you have a good understanding of the basics. Now let's move on to the next question. And the question is, can you explain the difference between type one and type two errors in hypothesis testing? Can you illustrate these with an example? So you can see that uh, the, this, this one is slightly more nuanced and uh, a little more difficult than the previous one. Um, well, I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that question. All right, so I can submit my response. So what it does is it, it, it then actually explains uh, the type one and type two error to me. And then this is how the, the interview sort of proceeds. Now, when I want to end the interview, I can simply click on end interview and see score and feedback. And what it will show me is uh, feedback on each of my responses along with the score for each response. So you can see that uh, for this one, uh, my, my score is seven and the feedback is that it is technically correct, but it lacks exhaustiveness. And, and then it suggests that I can make it better by providing a brief description of how regression and clustering work uh, with examples. Um, for this question, because my response was that I'm, I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, the score is actually zero and the feedback is simply that I do not know the answer to that question. The GPT interview assistant uses a bank of actual interview questions collected by our placement team over the past few years. It will also be trained using manually reviewed mock interview data as people keep using this interview assistant to constantly improve the accuracy and representativeness of uh, real world interviews. We want our learners to face uh, interviews with confidence and certainty, and we are hopeful that uh, tools such as this one will help them get there.